If your hair has problems, find your own solutions. Or just ask me, Alice LeClaire. Call 1-800-CAN'T-SAY-NUMBER for legal reasons. Hi, I'm Alice LeClaire, and welcome to Eating for Free. So, today we won't really be strictly eating, per se. I mean, there's food involved, but mostly it'll be for dyeing hair. Did you know you can make your own hair dye? You can make your own hair dye. Now, you can always buy shit in a store. If you, like me, would like a color that looks top-notch and will always look natural on you, then go for an, a natural alternative when it comes to your hair dye. Crazy talk. So, let's get started. We got ingredients. First, you need a can of beets. It's a cappella, yo, boop. So usually what I do is if I want to make my hair lighter, I will use one black, one bag of black tea and two bags of chamomile with some lemon juice. Especially if I have done a color before, I always want to get rid of that awkward right here. That is where I stop dying. If you just lighten or just darken your hair, you're going to end up with hair that's lighter all over or darker all over than it was. You're not going to minimize the differences between those places. Olive oil. It actually activates the other dyes a little bit more, and so you will get a more prominent result with olive oil than if you did not use it. And it also is one of the primary things that makes this a really good thing for your hair. Honey is great for your hair. That's the main reason why it's in. But the other reason why you put honey in this mixture is honestly because it helps it thicken up a little bit. Otherwise, imagine trying to put a pot of water into your hair. Let's get dying. Step one, beets. Can't open it. Crap. In all seriousness though, don't open it all the way if you have the pull top like I do. So don't open it all the way and then make sure to close it a little bit more with your finger and then you can drain it into your pan. Beet juice. Now the rest of these you can eat. This is your dinner now. No more beets. That's all for now. Now take and add some olive oil. About two tablespoons should do it. One, two, check. Um, if you add too much olive oil, that's when your hair gets greasy, so make sure that it, you really keep it at about two tablespoons. About one tablespoon of honey. Honey, I want to put you in my hair. And I'm going to put this on the stove and start to cook it as I add my tea and lemon juice. Always edible. I'm going to turn up the heat and let this start to really boil before I add the other ingredients. That started to boil within like less than a minute. Next step is to add the tea. Now, honestly, I am looking to make my tips of my hair a little bit darker since that's the last part that I dyed and it's really blonde right now. So I'm going to actually add two bags of black tea today to kind of balance that out. Go ahead and just pop them right in there. And these will need a long time to actually absorb all of this goodness. So regardless of how long you're actually cooking your dye for, you are going to, when you're done, leave it for about 30 minutes. Now go ahead and add your lemon juice, maybe about two tablespoons. Now that we've added all of the main ingredients, we are actually just going to let this cook out a little bit, let it just lightly boil for about five to 10 minutes. And then we will let it sit for 30 minutes before we put it in our hair. It's so pretty, isn't it? So I'm gonna kind of squeeze out these tea bags, use my spoon to press and make sure that all of the juice is out of them, at least as much as possible. And then I'm going to just go ahead and throw away the tea bags. Now note, this entire mixture is still entirely edible. And now I have a good amount of liquid which to dye my hair. So I'm just going to pour this into a cup and apply it by hand. Now I'm going to work it into my hair from the roots all the way to the tip. So start with that base and whatever you want to be the most prominent, usually right near your face is where you want to make sure it gets the most dye. 
Um, so start with that region because it'll dye more the longer it's in your hair. So this next step actually goes against conventional hair dyeing wisdom because it's a natural form of dye instead of a chemical version. And so what that means is a little stretch. We're actually putting tin foil on our heads. The metal actually helps, especially the red, really activate and work into your hair while you let it sit. Okay, so now I've finished putting the tin foil on my hair. One thing you should know is when you are washing this out of your hair, do not shampoo or condition it. The dye itself is a deep conditioning treatment. It is actually better than any conditioner that you would be putting in your hair normally. On top of it, if you actually shampoo your hair, I can guarantee you none of this hard work that you just put into dyeing your hair is going to see any benefit. So make sure to wait at least 24 to 48 hours after dyeing your hair before you wash it again. And it may be a little bit greasy in this time. It depends on your particular hair, but regardless, wait 24 to 48 hours after dyeing it to use shampoo and conditioner in your hair. So we're just going to now let this sit for at least an hour before we wash it out. Hey guys, I'm back. And now I'm ready to go out into the world and live with beautiful red natural hair. This is what my hair looks like with no product in it. Zero. Zippo. No product. Also my face, I'm only wearing lipstick and clothes. Do you guys want to see before and after pictures? Ready? It's been since Labor Day weekend since I dyed my hair. So the part of the old photo is actually still the same dye mixture. Nothing in my hair is anything but this dye mixture done with a slight variation, slight tweaks at different times. So as it faded out, that's how it naturally fades out, which is good for you to know if you try this. That's what happens if you do not keep it up. But also notice it's not some big drastic change. It's enough that it'll be noticeable and it'll be whatever different color you want unless you are using beet juice to try to dye your hair like, I don't know, blonde. Thank you for watching this video on how to dye your hair using all natural hair dye and so cheap! If you like this video or want more eating for free videos, please like and subscribe to this channel. I don't know if you don't tell me. Thanks! Bye!